Hi, I'm Mike DeSimone. And I'm Jeff Jensen, and we're the authors of this book, Wines of California. And we just had a great segment today. Here on Hallmark Home and Family TV. And uh, some of the viewers sent in some Facebook questions, so we are going to answer a few of your questions. The first one comes from Karen Goldman, and Karen asked, For someone like me who gets very overwhelmed looking at all the brands and bottles of wine, what would be a suggestion on buying a wine that is not too bitter or not too sweet? Also, where can I buy the wine? Oh, that's a good one, Karen. Um, well, you know, one of your best bets is when you go into a, a, a wine shop, talk to the people who work there. They really know about their stock. Um, the other thing that you can do if you're in a big shop that doesn't have people to help you, you know, there's these little things on the end of each shelf called a shelf talker. And basically the shelf talker will have a tasting note that says, you know, this wine is fruity and sweet and has aromas of peaches and whatever. And you'll kind of know if that's the wine you want to buy. And, and it also will give a point, you know, a point ratio, maybe like 88, 89, 90 points. So, you know, those are out of 100 points. So you, the higher the score, usually the better the wine. And, you know, I also think, though, too, that something that a lot of people don't think about is you need to kind of, like, figure out what grape it is that you like. Yeah. I'm a really big fan of Syrah. Syrah is a red grape that he doesn't. Loves I love Syrah. Syrah. He loves Syrah does not need a whole lot of oak, say, the way a Cabernet Sauvignon does. So if you think that, a red, like, a red wine is too bitter, look for a Syrah um, next time you go wine shopping. Syrah is great, or a Zinfandel, perhaps, or... Uh, I'm a big fan of Pinot Noir. Well, let's get to the next question. Okay. All right. So the next question is from Linda Bokemeyer, and it's people tell me that you should store your wine bottle upside down, mine or not, have I messed them up? Um, odds are you haven't messed them up, but uh, actually wine shouldn't necessarily be stored upside down. It should be stored on its side. Right. So for example, if I grab this bottle of uh, Josh Cabernet Sauvignon here, it should be stored in a wine rack like this. And this way, as soon as I turn it, when it's like this, the cork is dry. Right. When I turn it that way, the, cork stays, the wet. cork stays wet. And that will actually keep it from becoming oxidized, which means that you'll get this like heavy air exchange coming inside the cork, technical blah, 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 wine geek stuff, but um, it'll make your wine taste better when you drink it. So we have an another question from Mary Conradi. Uh, hi, Mary. And this is a great question, and we've got a great answer and a great way to determine what's causing your headaches. So Mary says, I enjoy wine, but sometimes I get migraines. I enjoy most types, but not too dry. Somebody told me it's the sulfites. Are there easy to find wines out there that taste good and won't call, cause migraines? Um, that's, you know, there, sulfites do cause, um, have been linked causing some headaches with wines. Um, there are some organic wines that you can get that don't have any sulfites or only have naturally occurring sulfites, which occur on the grapes as they grow. Um, the thing about sulfites, uh, there's a way to test it, and actually, Mike is one who tells all of our friends how to do this with the... That's right. Yeah. Actually, if, you, if you're if you trying to figure out if it's sulfites that you are sensitive to or not, buy a bag of dried apricots, because apricot, not organic apricots, right. just regular dried apricots in like the grocery store. Like from Turkey or the Middle but, East or so something. So dried apricots or, or dried fruit in general is actually cured with sulfites. Eat a dozen of them. See if you get a headache, see if you have like your mouth is itchy, that kind of thing. If you do, then you know that it is the sulfites. Uh, the way to avoid, if you do like wine, to avoid sulfites in wine, white wines have less naturally occurring sulfites than red wine, and also organic wines. Um, Are a good choice. Yeah. Um, for example, I know when we wrote Wines of California, you know, Mendocino in the north of California, about 30% of their vineyards are organic. So right. look for something organic from Mendocino, California. You know, these are some great questions. We welcome, you know, your questions at any time. Um, we're, uh, we definitely would like to come back on Home and Family, so hopefully we can answer some questions again for you. Um, otherwise, you can get us on uh, Twitter, World Wine Guys, on Facebook as World Wine Guys, or Instagram. And even Pinterest, all World Wine Guys. <laughs> so thanks so much.